What's going on YouTube? Back here with another video today. In today's video, like you guys saw from the opening, we're going to be talking about the grill deletes today. As you guys know, I've been making these grill deletes. I made one for my truck for my personal use, and I got a lot of hits about how to get them, if I was going to make any more. So I went ahead and I refined the process, and I finally got some done. I made a batch of 12. I actually made 10, but I also have two sample parts that came out really good. So I'm going to send those two. So we got 12 made. I'm going to go over all the information today, everything you'll need to know if you're interested in getting one for yourself. So let's get into this. All right. So those of you that have been following the channel for a little while now know that I've had a billet grill delete on the front of my truck for a long time now, and I've got a lot of questions about it. This is the one I made for myself. It's black anodized out of billet aluminum. See, you got a sample part there. It actually came out really nice, but I've been getting so many questions about the one that I've had on the front of my truck for so long, and I went ahead and decided to start making them to sell to other people, for those of you that might want one. Um, I went ahead and test fit one, and it looks really nice. It does have some imperfections but i mean no bumper for one is going to be absolutely the same or perfect and there's no way i can make these all absolutely the same or perfect but i think it came out really nice As you can see it's not bad and when it's anodized black you'll actually see less of those imperfections and i mean from right here it actually looks really nice uh, i'm really happy with the way these came out uh, as a disclaimer since no bumper will be the same and it can't be perfect but on the inside of this lip it might rub in areas it might not it's going to depend i mean like i said no bumper will be the same so it's going to be hit or miss i don't see any issues arising out of it because like i said i've ran mine i think i've had this on there for the last three years now zero issues I have had spots where it touched the bumper a little bit, but my paint still looks just fine. I can't see any issues that arise from that. I don't see any issues arising from these either, even if it does touch a little bit. As long as you put some painter's tape when you're installing, tighten it down and then take the tape out, you should be fine. And the good thing about where the grill delete sits, I went ahead and took it out. It sits in this lip here you can see my paint looks pretty good and it does touch in some areas and you can't really tell i mean it hasn't really damaged the paint or anything that's why i don't think you guys will have a problem with it but the good thing is let's say it does nick the paint a little bit leave some scratches um the stock grill if you ever want to go back to the stock grill you can see that it'll cover it right up because the stock grill comes all the way out to the outside of that recess and you can tell that even the stock grill is not perfect in my bumper. There's still some weird gaps and not every bumper is going to be the same. But if you wanted to go back to the stock grill, it would cover up. You can see it comes all the way out to that thing. And my grill delete sits way in here. So even if it somehow does mess up your paint, you could easily cover it up. It wouldn't be a real big deal. I mean, I have more damage from rock chips and stuff from driving it on the highway than I do caused by anything by that grill delete. So I don't see it being a problem, but I did just want to kind of put that out there for those of you that are a little worried about it. Like I said, I really don't see it causing any more damage than you would just by driving the truck. I mean, it is the front end. It's, it's going to take abuse, especially if you drive it. And I don't see the grill delete causing any more damage than you'd get otherwise just by driving it. I mean, I got rock chips all over this freaking thing already. But if you are worried about it, maybe this is not for you. Maybe you don't buy one. Um, I don't really see a problem with it. Honestly, I've ran mine forever and the inside of my bumper still looks fine. But I did want to just put that out there. Um, but yeah, I think they came out really good. So. Let's go ahead and get into the pricing. These are gonna be 150 bucks a piece. That is shipped to your door. Nice, deburred, black anodized, ready to go. If you guys want the engraving here, I can do this engraving with the truck outline and your truck number. 
for an extra 75 bucks. So 150 for just black and a die, so it'll be just plain black. Or I can do 225 if you want the engraving. Um, the reason why the engraving is so much is because I have to pay my company for the machine time. I guessed about an hour. It might even take longer and I'll probably lose out on that. But that's the best I could do for you guys. Um, trying to get the pricing as low as I could. I feel like that is a fair price for a custom billet front grill. Um, so hopefully you guys are happy with that. But these are pretty much ready. Um, I'm going to send out, I got five already sold. I'm going to send those out. They're actually sold to close friends. They're going to test fit on their truck, give me their feedback, see if they're happy, and then I'll be ready to start pumping these out for you guys. Um, turnaround time shouldn't be too long. It takes only a couple days to make them. And then the only slow part, I guess, is we ship to anodize every Thursday, and then it takes a week from that Thursday to get them back. And then I'll be ready to either engrave the ones that want to be engraved or send them out. So. I'd say two, three week turnaround time from the time you say you want one, but I'm gonna try to keep an inventory on hand, so that should not be a problem. I'm gonna try to keep a set of 10 of these always on hand. When I start getting low, I'll make 10 more and just be ready to go. Um, that's the plan anyways, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, while I send those five out like i said i'm sending this batch of 12 off to anodize this thursday so the day the video goes up and then the next thursday is when i'll get them back i'm going to send those five to the five that have already sold to my buddies let them test fit it let them see what they think of it give me their honest feedback i'm sure everything's going to be fine but send those five out get their opinion get their feedback and then be ready to pump these out for you guys. But while I'm waiting for their feedback and sending those out and everything else, you guys can go ahead and start the process. Send me a DM, Instagram or Facebook. It's the best way to get a hold of me to the Debt Life Projects page. And let me know you're interested in one. That way I can get a head count. And then before I actually start making a bunch, I'll probably ask for some kind of deposit just as a good faith kind of deal because I don't want to make a bunch and then have everyone back out. So DM me, let me know you want one. When the time comes, I'll ask you for a deposit. I'll get them all made and then just pay the balance and I'll ship them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are happy. I know a lot of you guys have been hitting me up about these. I've been getting a lot of, a lot of interest in them and asking, hey, where are they at? What's going on with them? So hopefully you guys are happy with the news. Hopefully the pricing is pretty good. And the pricing is, by the way, includes all the hardware, bolts, nuts, everything. They're gonna come ready to bolt up to your truck, and ready to go, so. But that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. Make sure you like all the videos you watch. It really helps out in YouTube's algorithm. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Any, anything is fine, negative, positive, whatever. Um, just don't be a dick, because I did get some pretty rude comments on my last video and I don't have time for that honestly just keep all the negative stuff out of it I mean if you're going to be negative be constructive but anyways make sure you subscribe to the channel for more guys all kinds of lightning content to come we'll see you on the next video